Okay, today is Fun Friday. Today is uh, November the 6th, and every week from now until Christmas, every Friday, I'm going to review another toy. And then the week of Christmas, I'm going to give away one of these toys. And this is not really a toy. It is a toy, um, but I don't consider it a toy. I think it's a great tool to have. If you have a kid that's interested in science, this is a wonderful thing to give them for Christmas. It's a Wi-Fi digital microscope. A few weeks ago, I did a YouTube video where we did sort of a science project on bacteria and we had a really hard time identifying the bacteria because we couldn't get a close enough picture. Anyhow, I, I bought this on Amazon. I paid, uh, I think, uh, $40 for it and I've been very, very happy. This is a great thing to get if you, have, uh, if you want to look at the microscopic world or look at, um, look at things up close or have a kid that wants to look at science. This little microscope, they call it a microscope, it's more of a Wi-Fi camera that does a really good job of focusing. Um, it comes in this package, and this is it right here. It has a built-in battery. You charge it through the 5 volt uh, USB charging port there. You can turn it on and off. Uh, you, there's an LED built into it, and this little slider right here lets you change the intensity of the light. I tend to keep it at full intensity all the time. Um, you can control your zoom here, uh, plus and minus, so you can zoom in and out. And you can control your focus with this thing, this turns. So I'm going to demonstrate how it works. So this is, you can use this with a computer, an iPad, a telephone, and I'm going to demonstrate it with my telephone. Uh, let me show you what comes in the package first. There we go. Um, it's a 1920 by 1080p. They say it's compatible with Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac, and it is. I've tested it. They say it's got a 1000 magnification range. I don't know about that. Like a lot of things that you buy on Amazon, especially the products made in China, you know, the, the specs are not always what they claim. Now, I'm not bashing China. That's just a fact. Um, it's got a 24-bit sensor built into it. Um, it does a really good job. You get this box in the package, and that box comes with a USB charging cord. You get a, a warranty card and some instructions, which you really don't need because this thing is super simple. You get this base, which you can set it in, and, it, and the, the front end sits in the base like that. And then you also get this base, which is the one I use. And you can take this out of that base. So you can actually, you can use it with your hand or you can just keep it in here. Um, now this thing is Wi-Fi and here's how that works. I'm going to show you my telephone for just a minute. And we're going to hook it up to the Wi-Fi on my telephone. All right. So there's my phone. I'm going to turn on the Wi-Fi. And as you can see, there's a Wi-Fi signal called ISCAM 314BE90 and it shows it's connected. So your phone connects to this over Wi-Fi. You don't have to use a cable. So now you can download the ISCAM app. Let me find it. It's that app right there. And it automatically works. It's really, really simple. So I'm going to keep my phone in the image while I put this quarter underneath the microscope, and we're going to look at George Washington on that quarter. So that's going to take me just a minute to zoom in where we can see George up close. So bear with me just for a second. Let's find a big nose. Now, I'm going to turn my quarter upside down. Whatever, everything that you look at is actually reversed. The image is reversed, so it turns everything upside down, which is fine. There's George Washington's nose. So now I'm going to try and focus in a little bit better. Focusing with this is really the hardest part. Because you have to, when, when you focus, you inevitably move it a little bit. There we go. So you can see George Washington's face right there. Um, this just does a really, really good job. I've been very impressed with it. We can move it around some and, and uh, look at some more details on the quarter. 
Let's see if I can focus it in just a little bit better. I think I can do a better job focusing than I have. There we go, there we go, that's better. All right, so, can move it around and see the details. And I tried with my Nikon camera to get this, and uh, that's, that's actually right there, that thing's called a mint mark, that tells you where it's made. Um, and I couldn't get this good a picture with my, with my, my Nikon camera on um, macro mode. So back to George Washington. Let's compare that picture to a picture I have on a ruler. I've got a ruler here with a picture of George Washington. Let's see what it looks like on the ruler. Where are you at, George? Uh-oh, he's upside down. I forgot, I had to flip it. There he is. So that's really cool. Uh, let's look at a dollar bill. I've got a one dollar bill here. Let's put that underneath it. Check out the dollar bill. Maybe we can find the Illuminati on here somewhere. Let's try and focus a little bit on. I noticed the colors affect your focus sometimes. There we go. I think that's, uh, that's pretty good focus. So we can move it around, look at the details on that dollar bill. Check out the flowers at the edge of the pyramid. There's the, there's the Illuminati, the all-seeing eye is watching us. That one's for you, Nate. Um, there's uh, the writing on the base of the pyramid. Novus. Ordo Seculorum. All right. Yeah, so uh, anyhow, th this does a really, really impressive job. Let's turn it over. What's on the other side of this guy? All right, look, there's Washington again. All right, so let me see if I can focus in on Washington again. And I forgot to tell you, this thing actually comes with a lens cap too. That's really cool. That's not something you'd expect to get with um, what's considered to be a toy. All right, so here's Georgie. There he is. Oh, let's turn it upside down. Oh, there's his big mouth. You know, the artist that built our, that designed our money did a really good job. You can even see the, the, the corner of his eye really good. And you can zoom in and out right there. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Now, let's talk about this app for a second. With this app, you can take video, you can take a picture. So if I click that icon there, it gives me a picture. Um, if you download the app, and you don't have to have the microscope to download the app, if you wanna just download it and play with it, you can. So let's look some more on this. Just think in George Washington's day, if they'd have had this technology, where would we be now? We might actually have flying cars that we've been promised for the last 50 years. So that's pretty cool. I really like this. Let's look at a circuit board. All right. Here's a little circuit board that I use for some of my projects. You can even see the trash that's in between the leads on that microchip. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, this thing does a really good job. I've been very impressed with it. I was sort of apprehensive when I bought it. I said, you know, there's no way it'll be that good, but it got tons of great reviews on Amazon, and I've been very happy with it. I'll say that for the 15th time. I've been really impressed with just how good it, the magnification is and how good it can focus in, and I've gotten to where I use this every day. Um, at first I got it and I played with it, and then I realized, you know, you can, you can do things like look in your own throat, look at your own eye, and, uh, and you, can, you can record on your telephone while you do that, and that's neat. You can also hook this up to your computer and record on your computer. Now, if you wanna hook this up to your computer, you have to do it through Wi-Fi, so you're gonna have to disconnect your computer from your home Wi-Fi 
You can only have your computer connected up to this Wi-Fi to make it work. But you know it's worth it because of, of what you get to do with it. Um, anyhow, you can just look at a lot of things that are with it uh, in, in the microscopic world. We're going to repeat our project that we did with a bacteria, and uh, we're going to use this to try and do a better job of identifying all the bacteria from our project. I think we found 15 different types last time, but we didn't really get a good identification. So let's look at one more thing. I'm going to put a screw under here. Let's look at a screw. See how this looks. Let me find it. There it is. That's pretty sweet. Let's look at another president. Who's a good president to use? Um, let's look at Ronald Reagan. I always liked him. I thought he was a pretty good guy. Unlike some of these other jokers we've had in office. Where are you at, Ronnie? That's Nixon. We don't want, we don't want Nixon. We had enough of that. Ford. Jimmy the Peanut Carter. There he is, Ronald Reagan. All right. Yeah, so um, that's pretty cool. You can even tell he uses a Windsor knot on his tie. Yeah, so um, this thing is really neat. There's a GB1. And there's a, okay, that's a good place to stop on Clinton. Yeah. Um, anyhow, so I'm going to show you the package again. This is uh, this thing is just really neat. I really like it. Oh, I, you know, I forgot to show you one thing. Let's look at this. So let's put the eagle on the dollar bill under here. I didn't show how to uh, zoom it too well. All right, so let's move this over here. All right. So the buttons on the bottom let you zoom in and out. All right, so I'm going to put it on the eagle right there. I love eagles. And I'm going to push the plus and minus button and watch my telephone. So if I do, I push plus, you go to 1.4. The base is actually one time magnification. You go to 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 